In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to change your payment method on Google AdSense. So if you've got a Google AdSense account and you get paid by YouTube or some other company, then you're going to want to have a payment method set up that you can get your money to. Now, for example, like me, this happened to me, one of my accounts, one of my bank accounts got blocked for some reason. Let's say that happens to you and you need to change the account that you want your money to be withdrawn to. I'm going to teach you how to do that. So before I teach you, I want you to make sure you stick around for the whole video, watch every step, because if you don't, you might mess something up and end up losing your money and we do not want that to happen. So that being said, let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to google.com slash AdSense and sign into our AdSense account. Now, generally, our AdSense account is going to be a Google account, so you have to sign into your Google account and it should be linked to that. Now, once you've done that, you'll be in a page that looks a bit like this, and from there we can sort out our payment information. So we want to go down here to where it says payments, and we want to go down to where it says payment info and click on that button there. Now it will look something like this, and the section that we need to go to is the one that says how you get paid. So we're going to click on that. There's a little thing that says manage payment methods underneath here, so I'm going to click on that. Now in here, you can see I've already got two payment methods on file, but I can add a new one here, so I can click add payment method. So let me click on that and show you what it does. So what they're going to want you to add on here is your bank account. And your bank account must be located in the United Kingdom and in the British pound currency. So the first thing you need is the name on the bank. Now this is your full name shown in your blank bank statement. So if you have a middle name, you do need to include that as well. But look on your bank statement to be sure about your full name. The next thing we need to put is our branch sort code. This is the sort code, it's a six digit number. And lastly, you need your account number. So this is the longer number and you need to put that in there. Now once we've put these in, we can set this our primary if we would like to or we don't have to. But what we can do is we can hit save and And what it says is, after entering your details, you may see a deposit for less than $1 in your account within three days. So basically, what it's going to do is it's going to put money into your account, and it's going to, it's going to ask you how much money was put into your account. If you can answer the question correctly, then it's going to verify your account, and you'll be able to use that payment method. If you don't verify it, you can't use it. It's just a security feature that they have. Now, that is basically how you do it. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below their helps. Thank you for watching.